The BBC's Laura Kunzberg has come under fire from Twitter trolls for appearing to defend Dominic Cummings' controversial decision to undertake a 260-mile journey up north during the lockdown. As the story broke on Friday night, the BBC political editor was accused of defending the indefensible as she provided details about the story. Ms. Kunzberg was been hit by a wave of criticism for tweeting details given to her by a source. She said the source told her the Prime Minister's top aide had kept within the guidelines when he traveled to Durham with his son while suffering from coronavirus symptoms. Responding to the Daily Mirror journalist who broke the story, Ms. Kunzberg said, Source says his trip was within guidelines as Cummings went to stay with his parents so they could help with childcare while he and his wife were ill, they insist no breach of lockdown. Her reply caused a furore, with many followers accusing her of acting on the government's behalf. One person said, will you just stop? It's like listening to a barrister building a defense case for their client. A second wrote, how much does number 10 pay you? I can't imagine how anyone so dedicated to defending the indefensible does so for free. And yet another called Ms. Kunzberg the Tory government's press officer. They said, last thing Laura Kunzberg does before she goes to bed, defend the government. First thing Laura Kunzberg does when she wakes up, defend the government. Even Kim Jong-un couldn't wish for a more dedicated press officer. Others said the regarded the political editor as a Tory stooge. One man urged her to rethink her tweet. He said Mr. Cummings had driven to Durham while people have had to watch their loved ones die via an iPad and watch live stream funerals. He added, have a rethink Laura, he broke the rules. Stop defending the indefensible. But others jumped to Ms. Kunzberg's defense, pointing out that her tweet had clearly stated the information came from one of her sources and was not her own analysis of the scandal. One wrote, she's not defending him. She's reporting what she's been told. She's a reporter. It's her job. How is this so hard for people to understand? Mr. Cummings has defended his journey, saying he behaved reasonably and legally. Boris Johnson has stood by his trusted advisor and resisted calls to sack him over the matter.